British dance pop band London Beat formed in the late 80s, consisting of Americans Jimmy Helms and George Chandler, as well as Trinidadian Jimmy Chambers and the only Brit in the bunch, guitarist William Henshaw. A few years after he graduated high school, Jimmy Helms released his first solo single, You're Mine You, in 1963. When his music career failed to take off, he joined the army. After his time in the service, he settled in the UK. In his adopted homeland, Jimmy was finally able to have his moment at the top of the pops with a song that made it all the way to number eight on the UK charts called Gonna Make You an Offer You Can't Refuse. Throughout the 80s, Jimmy continued to write and record British ad jingles and sing backup for various artists. He soon became friends with another session singer by the name of Jimmy Chambers. He had previously been the member of another group back in the 60s. George also had experience being in a group setting as one of the founding members and frontman of British disco funk band, The Olympic Runners. In 1987, William, who went by the name Willie M, was a record producer, engineer, and songwriter. He would come to know the two Jimmys and George as very talented singers. They had worked with every major artist in the world, including Eric Clapton, Robert Plant, Paul Young, and Tina Turner. Between the three of them, they had sung on over 2,000 hit songs. Since all four of them had so much experience under their belt, they decided to step out from the shadows and take center stage. When they got together, they agreed that they shouldn't even bother with the idea of putting a group together if they couldn't write a hit song in three hours. Within 45 minutes, it was done. Well, sort of. They did write a song called KISS, but it didn't become a hit. It did, however, get them a management deal. The group's popularity began in the Netherlands, where their single, There's a Beat Going On, took off. They also recorded their entire debut album there, titled Speak, with Willie serving as producer. The album wasn't released in the US, but it did experience moderate success in the UK with another song, 9AM The Comfort Zone. Two years later, the group released their second album, In The Blood. It includes the song that the group would become best known for, I've Been Thinking About You. The smash hit captured the number one spot on Billboard Hot 100 in the US, as well as in over two dozen other countries, propelling the group into international stardom. The track also just happened to drop during the Gulf War. Fans with loved ones in war zones connected with the words and the feelings of the song. They also experienced great success with the follow-up single called A Better Love that made it into the top 20. Surprisingly, even after scoring a number one hit in the country, London Beat's next album, 1992's Harmony, didn't get an American release. Their self-titled fourth LP that came a couple of years later did come out in the US. It featured the single Come Back that made it onto the Hot 100, even though the album didn't chart. Just before the release, however, George decided it was time for him to make his exit. The next year, London Beat put forward another song off the album, I'm Just Your Puppet, On a String, for entry into the Eurovision Song Contest. Unfortunately, they weren't selected to represent the UK, but the song was released as a single. At this time, Willie decided to leave the band. This move would mark the end of the original London Beat lineup. Willie went on to start his own high-tech company. After creating a team of developers and moving to San Francisco, that company, now called Rocket Network, would eventually become part of technology company Avid, included in their audio production software, Pro Tools. Years later, Willie would also find his way back to music and begin writing again. In 2011, he founded another company, Focus at Will. After becoming interested in why people like to listen to music while at work and studying, he decided to create a neuroscience-based web tool that helps people concentrate. During London Beat's downtime, Jimmy Helms teamed up with producer Charles Pierre. They ended up writing dozens of songs together. Then Jimmy got a call about putting London Beat back on the road. Only there was no London Beat. Enter Liverpool-born Tony Blaze. He began singing at an early age and went on to front many bands in and around the area throughout the 80s and 90s. The new London Beat trio went on to perform regularly in Europe and the Middle East until the early 2000s. Another change was on the horizon when Jimmy found himself all alone again after Tony decided to leave the band and Charles opted to move to the US 
to continue his production work. Now was the perfect time for the other Jimmy, Jimmy Chambers, to make his return, and so he did. Together, the two Jimmys went on a hunt for two other members. By 2003, London Beat was reborn again, with a new lineup including guitarist Mark Goldschmitz and singer Miles Kane. The band released their first album in nearly a decade, titled Back in the High Life, quickly followed up by Gravity in 2004. Four would become three once again when Mark left to join another band. That wouldn't slow down London Beat one bit though. They continued on performing and touring as a trio for many years. Then in 2018, a perfect timing moment happened when Miles decided he wanted to leave the group and was replaced by Charles, who had returned to the UK. In recent years, the band has mainly concentrated on their live performances. In 2019, to celebrate their 30 plus year run, London Beat teamed up with top German DJ and producer Class to deliver a fresh take on their classic hit, I've Been Thinking About You. The remix version features newly recorded vocals from the group, supported by catchy house production Class is known for. The collaboration makes for a mix of the single that feels both modern and nostalgic at the same time. Once again, the song soared, reaching number one on the Billboard dance charts that summer and coincided nicely with the release of a compilation album of the group's decades-long catalog. Today, London Beat is still going strong, with Jimmy Helms at 80 years old at the forefront, looking and sounding better than ever. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time.